continue our coverage of IDEF 2025 in Istanbul. We are now on the booth of uh, local company STM, who's showcasing for the first time the future fast attack craft of the Turkish Navy. And uh, Typhoon Osberg is joining us because he has a lot of expertise in this field. He was a captain of a fast attack craft in the Turkish Navy. Typhoon, uh, good morning. Uh, great to get you to talk to us about fast attack craft uh, topics which you know so much. What can you tell us about this uh, design by STM? Hello Xavier, uh, I'm very happy to see the final design of the uh, National Fast Attack Craft project. This is the final design and this is showcased for the first time in IDEF 2025. We have been waiting for this design for a couple of years. Um, uh, this design resembles the proven design uh, of Kılıç 2 uh, fast attack craft, which uh, is uh, used by the Turkish Navy for more than one decade. But uh, it, of course, it has advanced features. Uh, if we look at the design, it has more stealthy design uh, with lower ra radar cr radar cross section, and it's 2.5 times heavier than uh, the traditional fast attack craft. It's, uh, the displacement of this ship is uh, exceeding 700 tons, which is a little bit uh, a, big dis a bigger uh, displacement for a fast attack craft, and its length is uh, 68 uh, meters. Uh, to talk about the um, weapons and sensor suite, it has advanced sensor suites. Uh, all of the weapons are sensors, by the way, are uh, homegrown, uh, indigenously developed. Uh, it has uh, Aselsan's AESA radar, Jank uh, 200 or 250, and it has electronic warfare suites, including electronic support system and electronic countermeasure system. And it has Aselsan, it will have Aselsan made electro optic systems. Uh, this, uh, the main punch of this fast attack craft will be Atmaja missile, of course. It will not carry uh, Chakr, it will have the biggest uh, uh, anti-ship missile uh, produced by Rocket Sun, Atmaja. And it will uh, have MK made Denison uh, naval gun, 76mm uh, gun. And at the aft side, it has a closing weapon system. Uh, it will be either Rocket San Levant or Asal San Göksur. It's not certain yet. Uh, that's what I can say about the uh, sensors and weapons about this fast attack craft. Typhoon, in your opinion, why did the uh, size increase? What's the main benefit of having a larger fast attack craft? Uh, to increase seaworthiness, uh, uh, to increase payload capacity, and um, uh, it will be uh, this design will be between a fast attack craft and a light corvette. And uh, another feature of this ship is uh, it will the, the main propulsion system uh, will cons consist of four diesel engines coupled to four water jets. This ship will not have prop propellers, will have water jets and it will increase in capabilities to operate in the littoral waters and, and in shallow areas. And lastly, I see like some shapes along the hull below the waterline. This is a stealth characteristic, this is exhaust to lower the IR signature. Yes, indeed, it's, it's, uh, the, they are the exhaust holes. It's the uh, standard at most of the fast attack crafts uh, propelled with diesel engine to decrease IR signature, infrared signature of the uh, fast attack crafts, which is vital uh, in literal operations. Lastly, Typhoon, do we know anything about the, the shadow for the program, uh, when it will launch, when it will be delivered and so on? The construction of the ship has officially started. They cut the first steel, but the, the company didn't announce it uh, because they announced the final design in this exhibition. Uh, according to the information I got from the officials from STM, uh, it will be on the water in three years. And we, after uh, 36 months, the uh, sea trials will start. 
uh, but the commissioning date is not certain yet. But after completing the uh, acceptance test, uh, STM will go into the uh, mass production. They, the initial plan is to uh, produce 10 fast attack aircraft for the Turkish Navy, but the numbers can be increased in accordance with the needs of the Turkish Navy. These ships will uh, gradually replace uh, Rüzgar and Doğan class aging fast attack aircraft, which are currently uh, in Turkish Navy's inventory. Very well, Typhoon. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure.